All right then, bruv. It's Tuesday. Getting fired by a hot dog. Yes, well. Uh, sorry, the... Five months hassle. Uh, the company is downsizing, and uh, we are not going to need you on Monday. Uh, this dude literally fired 900 people in one go after 750 million injections of the company. Vishal Garg, US boss, fires 900 employees over Zoom. Shut the f*** up. Are you serious? Get fit and get politically educated. Thanks for all you do, and also don't forget the top of the hour ad. You're the best. Blue Bro, heart, that is heart, not heart. that is not poggers. Okay, that is just straight up that. Oh my god, dude, this is like this is dystopian. And this is uh, yet another example of how we are currently living in the dystopian future that we thought we'd be living in. Like, this is where we're at. Thank you for joining. Um, I come to you with not thesis. great news. Well, the f we like, uh, uh, the market we has changed. He's like, uh, we need to reduce redundancies and uh, maximize efficiency. Uh, also, the best way to maximize efficiency by firing 900 people is by doing it via Zoom. Um, he's I apparently also uh, has been traced and admitted to posting him on a management forum complaining about some of them. Lol, lol, what a trash bag. There's a management forum? Bro, f*** the anti-work subreddit. That's the shit I want to read, dude. That's like the straight cancer. He claimed that 200 plus employees were stealing by working two hours a week. Wait, what? Stealing? If I was a boss, okay? First of all, I'd be terrible. Okay, let's be real. I'm just, I'm dog shit at management. But if I was a boss... I wouldn't be talking about the concept of time and the concept of labor and theft in the same no, sentence. Still no cooking stream because my head. if you Hope get Jennifer workers to start thinking about, well, you know, labor as a form of stealing, they're going to start thinking, well, what, what the fuck are you stealing from me? You're, you're giving me wages, but like I'm, I'm putting in a lot more with my labor Yo. that generates a load more for the company. What's that? Seems like wage theft. Seems like you're stealing my surplus labor value i don't know i'm just saying kind of a weird thing to bring up bing bong change as you know and uh we have to move with it in order to survive so that hopefully we can continue to thrive and deliver on a mission this isn't news that you're going to want to hear Bog. uh but I'll yeah no shit he doesn't important. want to hear he, he's still he, Bro, my man is watching from a laptop that still has that clitoris on it, bro. He's got the keyboard clit. My man's laptop is stuck in 2007 and you're about to fire him over it, bro. That's crazy. Okay? Listen, if you still got that keyboard clit up in your laptop, dude, I mean, don't trash talk Lenovo's. Yeah, that's for sure a work laptop. I know. My, my brother has one, too. This my decision, and I wanted you to hear it from me. It's been a really, really challenging decision to make. Oh, dude, dude, this is like, hey, listen, it hurts me more than you. You know really what I'm saying? Oh, man. Guys, why don't you think about my feelings? As I fire 900 over, of you over a Zoom call, dude. He's like, I love that his claim is that people are stealing from the company by only working two hours instead of eight and, and logging in eight hours of work. Like, that's his claim to labor theft, which is not a real concept, by the way. You absolutely should, and it is totally normal to want to work the least amount of hours gang. for the most amount of pay. It's just a normal thing, especially if you are just a simple cog in the machine. It is literally the, the understandable human condition, okay? And what your boss wants to do, okay, what this Patagonia uh, vest-wearing dipshit wants from you is for you to work the most amount of hours for the least amount of pay. So there is a constant back and forth there, okay? There is a there is a conflict within these two interests. So this notion that, you know, he's upset that you're <laughs> you're engaging in labor theft is hilarious considering that uh, no matter what no matter what your job is if a company is profitable or if a company is uh, no matter what what your job is regardless of what the company is uh, you know spending or whatever the f you are still absolutely getting paid less than your your uh, giving to the company which just happens at every level Twitch commission waste that with their streamers i mean yes i make more money for this platform than this platform pays out for me you give me money in the form of subscriptions, Twitch takes a percentage. You, when I serve an ad, okay, I have a contract, can't talk about it, but when I serve an ad, okay, Twitch gives me 
a a preset amount of that ad they can serve an ad that is a hundred times more expensive and sometimes they serve ads most of the time they serve ads that are five times six times seven times more expensive CPM wise, and they make five times more money off of me serving one ad, just like they make a percentage off of me getting a subscription. I'm not running the ad right now. Just chill the fuck out. So no matter what happens, no matter what happens, like, you know, the company's always going to win. Yeah, you get fucked, but at least you still make more than us. Absolutely. I agree. Of course. Do they limit how many ads you can run? Is there a max? No, bro. Are you kidding me? They want, dude, they'd love it if I ran more ads, dude. I yawn, I yawn, I yawn you. Anyway, when you pointed out how workers are slaves to their jobs due to the necessity of healthcare provided by the employer, that really clicked things for me because I grew up with a miserable mother who was constantly forced to stay somewhere due to the need for healthcare. Yeah, that is a way Radical in this country TV stars. that our bosses keep us shackled to our jobs. There is no movement within the labor force unless you get fucking fired, in which case it sucks. How does a socialite socialist look like, uh, so like like you look so greasy um it's called putting conditioner in your hair and also showering this is a concept that i know is unfamiliar to many of you but when you shower and you have long hair and even if you dry it a little bit like with a towel and whatnot it still stays kind of shiny for for some time so that's what it is and i shower every morning before i stream and that's precisely why my hair looks shiny in the mornings 17 months of molding now i'm taking finasteride too Anyway, let's keep going. I'm, this is the second time in my career I'm doing this, and I do not, do not want to do this. The last time I did it, I cried. <laughs> um, this time, I hope to be stronger. Being chilling, cold face. But we are laying off ice cream. about 15% of the company. You gotta market, be kidding me. It... Bro, he's just serving dick meat to you, too. You know what I mean? He's it's like the most what disrespectful you know? way you can fire someone. You couldn't sit behind a goddamn nice mahogany desk or something, look like a villain. It's like, no, I'm in the kitchen, okay, of this empty space because now no one wants to come into work because everybody understands, like, oh, I could just work from home. Okay. Wait, wait. So I'm just gonna sit in the kitchen and serve you sausage time in the cafeteria, okay? I'm gonna give my to you from my khakis. Like the disrespect, bro. Look at this. Look at this, dude. Brian Spipo. Absolutely just a incredibly disrespectful way to do this. He like he has his like beverages in front of him and shit. You know what I mean? He's just like, yeah, what's up? Uh it this pains me to do this, but like, you know, I'm a, a quadrillionaire, okay? I'm a quadrillionaire and uh I'm gonna be serving some dick meat to you today. And also you're fired. What's up? This is harder for me than it is for you. And it's like if you had benefits, it's have. gone. Hey, get uh go get uh Cobra, you know government assistance so that like your insurance company will still allow you to keep your coverage oh also you have to now you don't have income now but you're gonna still have to pay the insurance and that insurance is now like three months. times more because you have to pay the whole price subs. but hey guess what hassle. at least you can stay on your coverage for 36 months at least you can stay on your coverage for 36 months dude guess what dude get 900 of you these employees these 900 employees got four weeks of severance oh it's sick sick are you an anti-work guy? I've never been on the anti-work subreddit. I've heard that there's a lot of people who are like radicalizing on there. Uh, good on them. Uh, I don't know anything about the subreddit, but like ultimately, am I anti-work? I think I love work, but I think everyone should be able to love their work. Everyone should love their work. And most people don't because of the nature of work PTC's under love. capitalism. <sighs> What is this? Just 10 seconds? It's time stamp? I guess I should. I don't know where's the origin of that name, but this motherfucker's named Garg. Gargle these nuts. Man, these <laughs> wow. Good take. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> anyway, this is going to hurt you more than it will hurt me. No, he's like, I got fired from my last job and gave me 30 day severance. It sounds like a lot until you realize how long job hunting and interviewing takes. So the part of the, uh, yeah, part where no other money's coming in. Vid on the Thank CEO. I come to you with not great news. I've, this is you saw this well, part. Guys, looks like it's that time of year again. And I'm not talking about the holidays. I'm talking about the 900 people months, that were just laid go. off on a Zoom call from better.com. And you can bet someone took a video of that Zoom call and sent it to me. And we're going to watch it. But just before I show you the video, I need to show you this. Better.com received a $750 million cash infusion just days before they let go 900 people. I think this fact... Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't want to watch like... Uh... I don't want to watch someone else's commentary. Like I'm literally doing commentary on this. Like, I don't know why chatters chatters are just like straight up disrespectful when they're like, Hey, 
I know you're literally a political commentator who I appreciate and enjoy. And we're, we're like watching the story and we're watching you do the political commentary. But like, fuck you actually, can we watch my other uh, favorite uh, guy? I think he's probably doing it better than you. Like, go watch that guy then, mother. Why are you coming in here and showing me this shit? You look good today, chat hassle. Like, why, why would I just like react to someone else reacting to the story while I'm reacting to the story? Stay away from r slash anti work because they're all salty and basically just against lower paying jobs. When you take a lower paying job, you are inherently accepting the risks and inconveniences that come with it. No? Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, uh, when I at gunpoint, for example, force you to go into work, okay? Uh, you're accepting the risks. Like, hey, the risk of being born into a poor family and shitty material conditions so that you are literally subjugated for the rest of your life in horrific work conditions that will never improve because you want to, you know, put a roof over your head or put food on the table or, um, I don't know, clothes on your back. You dumb moron. Ugh, stay away from that subreddit because they're salty and against lower paying jobs. What the f kind of job do you have, dumbass? Salt Lake Daddy? He said he's sorry, but still, I'm uh, just like, I ha absolutely hate that. That shit makes me so mad, dude. Are you kidding me? Better.com gets 700 million cash infusion in new agreement with its back backers. Digital mortgage lender, Better.com, which announced in May that it was going public via a SPAC, is getting a cash infusion from his backers sooner than expected. The blank check company, Aurora Acquisition Corp., and SoftBank have decided to amend the terms of their financing agreement to provide Better with half of the $1.5 billion they committed immediately instead of waiting till the deal closes. Wow, dude. That's nice. That's nice, oh, man, dude. A bit. Great. The amended terms will not change Better's implied valuation of $6.9 billion, the company says. Holy fuck. So many companies firing large portions of... Okay. Companies valued at $6.9 billion. They get a fat cash infusion to the tune of $750 million. Okay. And then the CEO fires them over a Zoom call. Five-month brain rot. Let's go. Performances. And me. Efficiency and performances. How and productivity. All we did for the company... If you're on this call, please watch Totally No Marks last vid. It's a bit about one of the worst cases of copyright off. by a corp. I hope Your you watch it to help the creator and spread awareness about it. Also, I've been enjoying our streams, so thanks. It's cool, man. Part of the unlucky group being laid off. Damn, dude. That's so, that's so sad for him. I hope he's doing all right. I hope he posted on his Twitter account like, yo, ladies, I'm feeling real bad tonight. You know, I need, I need someone to comfort me. How can a union protect something like this to happen? So even if there's a union, okay, the boss can still uh, uh, drop this on you, okay? But the difference is the exit negotiations will offer you a load more coverage than whatever is uh, up to the company, okay? That's the, that's the beauty of being protected by a union. So right now, the severance package that you get is completely dictated by the company. And if you have pretty much no say, okay? You have no say in what you get. And in a lot of instances, you get this, okay? You get dick. A union will defend you and protect you and make sure that you get as best a severance package uh, as you can. Now, they gave him four weeks severance. That's still not great. Chucky AR Law, thank you for the five tier one gift subs. Will Gluten, thank you for the five gifted subs as the well. Is setting in. Especially when you lose everything. Like you lose your income. Why is it not stopping? Stop! Okay, I can't stop it. Okay, boss man didn't even want to give any severance. The board wanted to give 60 days. They had to settle on 30 and he was still pissed about it. That poor CEO. Four I weeks right before the holidays when the companies typically don't hire. BO3 of 95, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. How much is too much? People are getting to push to the limit. It is in your face. Cash infusion is probably a venture fund whose funding was contingent on cutting liabilities, aka 900 livelihoods, VCs, or demons. I, I agree. That's one of the beauties of, uh, you know, working a job in our heavily financialized uh, workforce or in our heavily financialized economy where your job is at risk by not even a shareholder that has never touched the, the factory assembly line of whatever the kind of white collar job you're at, whatever that equivalent is. But also on top of that, there's now new funders that are coming in on top of those motherfuckers who are saying, we got to eliminate redundancies. 
you think it's ever okay to fire workers or yeah, of course it's okay to fire workers on it, it, like it's a this is a really stupid question dude what are you crazy no dude someone can just like when, when someone gets a job with you they're with you forever the fuck do you mean there's a difference between firing 900 workers over a zoom call because you want to maximize your efficiency and eliminate redundancy and destroy 900 lives in like in a matter of a two minute zoom call while you're serving dick meat under the lunch table wearing your stupid patagonia vest as a person whose net worth is around four billion dollars okay hey guess what mom and dad bringing nothing for christmas okay no presents for you kids because i just got fired and i only have four weeks severance and no one is hiring no one is going to be hiring during christmas time so now i'm f okay no presents for you little boy little girl f you nothing the problem isn't uh like firing a worker the problem is also the social safety nets the problem is why you're firing someone firing someone because they are oh, bad God. at their job and like or firing someone because they're like sexually harassing co-workers or firing someone because you know they got f vibes okay overall that's fine you know nobody wants to work with someone with f vibes okay i would fire Seven the months. ceo vishal oh, garg that's for happen. sure his vibes are fucked that's entirely separate than uh reducing redundancies and maximizing efficiency by uh you know doing a mass layoff Hussain, especially over a zoom this call me more than it so disgusting you, dude sorry, we need I, to it's just like this stories like this increase my disgust players. tenfold and then i am reminded that in china 72 billionaires disappeared uh under mysterious circumstances 14 were directly executed by the state okay the average age of the billionaire in china that passed away from uh you know unforeseeable illnesses was 48 very young okay and uh that uh, china routinely decides to do certain things with their billionaires and also the businesses that they own in what they consider to be anti-monopolization tactics and uh you know they'll just take over the company they're like yeah we don't like what you're doing we are taking over the company or um sometimes they just you know will tell you to donate because prosperity is important for all we all must prosper right we're not anti-growth says Xi Jinping Let's go almost one year since the says we want everyone in China to prosper so in order to maximize that prosperity you do voluntary charity for example and not like Jeff Bezos style voluntary charity I'm not talking like oh yeah I gave like 10 million dollars oh look at me I'm so way. sick no I mean like like drop a three billion stack into the government coffers right now kind of voluntary charity trying to get back on TikTok's good site no TikTok, dude. <laughs> Seriously, I'm pissed off at that stupid map. But I'm just saying that, like, it would be nice if uh, the government worked for the people, okay? And an overarching uh, uh, goal of, like, improving society uh, rather than, uh, you know, an empty coffer, an empty vessel that is basically a money suck operation that uh, takes taxes from the middle class, working class people, and then pumps it back into subsidies for billionaire owned corporations, okay? I'm just saying it would be nicer if we had a government that we could have confidence in if we had a party that we felt like was uh, fighting for our best interest the question why voluntary charity in china and not a wealth income or capital gains tax i actually don't know it's most likely because they they want to uh, game the system and instead of like doing an across the board flat um across the board like flat tax on billionaires i feel like they are uh probably trying to ensure uh, that you get party loyalty and if you don't demonstrate party loyalty or you speak out of turn, you just, you know, you get clapped up. Um, less actual regulations and taxes means foreign direct investment is more likely to come in. Surely there's an opportunity cost here. Oh my case. God. Like, listen, brother, if you're 18 years old and literally just read like three chapters into your micro and macroeconomic principles book, okay? You're, if you're taking a one-on-one -on -one course and you're just going to vomit that out in here, I'm going to tell you right now, you're in a bad place, Okay. Surely there's an opportunity cost here. People will be fired in order to gain the rights to a SPAC, thus allowing firms to raise a greater cash liquidity, facilitating greater employment in the future. But no, I agree. Bad decision made in a poor way. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's that's always... Yeah, more people will be hired down the line. That's great. Okay, what about the 900 people that are fired now? Uh, well, you know, get fucked. Um, you know, more people will be hired down the line. Read the memo. Better CEO uh, Vishal Garg sent apologies to the blunder the execution of mass layoffs in the online mortgage startup. Dude, dude. Let's go. Lol, he's right, though. Okay, micro and macro economics, Andes, listen, listen to me, listen to my voice, okay? I'm going to guide you out of there for a second. I do not subscribe to the capitalist dogma 
that the current economic organization Why of society is an appropriate one or an empathetical one or, or an empathetic one or one that actually yields the most productive outcomes if productivity also factors in people's living conditions, happiness, safety, overall feeling of fulfillment. Great months. Looking okay? To 19 more so days. if you come in here and you're like, oh, well, it's, they're actually maximizing efficiency. Yeah, I get it. But I'm looking at the other side of it, okay? And the reality is you can get the other side, the boring, uh, you know, oh, well, technically there's an opportunity cost, blah, 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 all this shit, okay? You can get that everywhere else. So why are you coming in here, the one fucking place where you don't get that and you're like, actually, I want to hear you. I want to hear you talk about the many benefits of firing 900 people two weeks before Christmas with only four weeks severance. Much love to all the femboys okay? in chat. I believe in social welfare. I believe in the welfare of all workers. I believe in the welfare of all citizens, okay? And the reality is like, you're not a factory owner. So why are you coming in here defending that shit? I'm sorry, brother, but like you and your dad are most likely not Vishal Garg, okay? Your dad's not a quadrillionaire. He doesn't have $4 billion and neither do you. You're working at Domino's doing deliveries. You're like, well, actually the opportunity cost, like what the fuck are you doing? Why are you defending the system that like fucks you? What, what, what kind of weird shit is this? Does it make you feel good when you defend the factory owner? Do you feel like you're, you yourself are uh, going to be an owner one day of the factory? Because it's not going to happen. But once again, you say you love capitalism, yet here you sit in the chat, WTF devoid of capital. Four months ago, I was scared shitless. What's beginning. up with that? Now I finished the semester. Huh? Thanks for the love chat. What's That's up with that mother? Show me the deed to the factory. We got two rules in this chat. If you defend the DNC unconditionally, you need to Bush show me the pay stuff. If you are a DNC lobbyist, if you are an operative within the Democratic Party infrastructure, I mean, I'll still dunk on you as I do with H. Bizzle, okay? But he is actually a DNC operative. He has shown the pay stubs. And if you Radical are a defender ideas. unconditionally of capitalist overlords, then you got to show me the deed to the factory. If you are, and I don't mean your little, you know, Robin Hood account or you're making big money moves, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. Like, not, none of that, like, oh, I'm a retail trader. Love this I'm a day trader uh, bullshit, okay? And anguish. Show me the deed to the motherfucker factory and we'll Less talk about it percent. okay oh man i you know i made <laughs> i made a 10 percent return this year i made a hundred dollars oh sick dude i watched this stream to the least time working the whole time thanks for the content at hasanabai anyway uh i bought an ugly monkey photo so i'm going to the moon dude hey vishal garg better ceo thank you for allowing Five people to no longer see the ads at the top of the hour because the top of the hour ad break is coming right now. First of the day. Okay. Look at that, dude. Vishal Garg in the chat. Thank you for the gifties. Only five. You're worth $4 billion, you broke bitch. What's up with that? I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>